Oh, good morning. <laughs> Didn't see you guys there. Just was, uh, you know, waking up in my tree. You guys want to hear about the Apple Watch Series 7 and some other cool stuff like new Apple Watch bands? Of course you do. Drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell. It means the world to me when you guys do that. Let's go ahead and jump in. But first, there's a new episode of Genius Bar out, which I would love if you guys checked out. I do it every week with John Prosser, and we do a ton of exclusive drops uh, about Apple News on this week's episode. So if you want to hear it somewhere first, check it out down below. All right, so let's talk about dropping bands, guys. All right, I'm talking hundreds, I'm talking stacks, I'm talking racks, I'm talking cheddar, I'm talking bread, I'm talking blue, I'm talking Benjamins. It's insane how many words we've come up with for money, and that's not even what we're talking about today. We're just talking about Apple Watch bands, but Apple dropped some new ones that are incredible and they're for pride. So every year for the past few years, <laughs> that's a misleading phrase, every year for the past few years, I should say just like for the past two years. You've probably seen Apple Watch bands. I mean, they've done new watch faces and new bands for a while now. And they've always looked really good, like especially the one last year, it was like individually die cut so every band was slightly different. I think that's a really dope concept and I think Apple executed on it really well. This year, they are back, but they're not announcing just one band per normal, there, there's two. And I don't know what it is about the rainbow that is just so like, it just like, it probably just releases a lot of chemicals from all the colors. Um, number one, I think it's cool that like Apple like shows solidarity with like the pride community through this. It also, I just think, happens to be some of the best looking bands they've ever released. First up is the new Nike Sport Loop that looks like this. It's relatively similar or like standardized for, I feel like, what we would come to know as like the Apple Pride collection. It's five different stripes going through all six colors of the rainbow. It's a white band and then the, the color sort of streams through. This one is okay. Like if this is what they would have come up with for this year, I would have been like, okay. You know, it's cool, maybe talk about it for like a second or two in the video, but the second band is like genuinely pretty, it's stunning to me. It's an all new version of the braided solo loop with individually colored and tied together fibers that are all different colors. It does cost a rack. Well, the Nike one is 50 bucks, like a normal watch band. This one costs a hundred dollars, uh, which is a lot of money. I hope that like a good amount of that money actually goes to like pride organizations. There's just something about this band that I really like. And the only thing is, is being a solo loop, you have to know your wrist measurement. But just want to give you a word of warning, always go down a size. Like if you're right in the middle for the little like printout tool that they have to figure out what size you are between like one and 11 or something, just always go down a size. They're a cool idea, but it, it's not as just easy as like a little sport band that you put on where it's like, oh, every size is in this one package. It's it's a little more tricky. So these are really cool. I just thought I'd share these with you. They look really nice. Um, I mean, who doesn't love some color? If you guys want one of these, they're available for order now, and then they're gonna be in Apple stores on May 25th. But listen, if this guy's not gonna sit here and tell you the truth, then I will. He ain't been using protection. He's been raw dogging everything out there, all right? And he's caught them all, as they say. He's gotta start being safe online. He's gotta use Weep. My accent went away, but he's gotta use WeVPN. Listen, you guys know WeVPN. They're the guys that came from all all the other VPN companies doing sketchy stuff with your data to create a fundamentally better product that was one of the best, fastest, and most reliable options on the entire market. And recently I've heard some birds chirping outside, which means that it's spring and WeVPN has launched their spring sale for the two years plan, which gets you 73% off and two months for free at only $2.69 a month. This gives you access to all their premium features, over 50 server locations around the world, and even the ability to unblock content from Netflix Hulu, BBC iPlayer, and so much more. And when you enter the code IUPDATE at checkout, you get an additional 10% off. So my challenge is this, whether you've been using a different VPN for years, ew, yuck, or this is your first time hearing about a VPN, head over to wevpn.com slash IUPDATE today if you trust me, if you like what I do here, and start staying safer online. Anyway, let's move on to the, the biggest story of the day, the thing that I am most excited for, which is some fresh information about the Apple Watch Series 7. I've been wearing my watch Watch since the day it came out, and that is why I am always excited for the new Apple Watch each and every year. And the same is true for the Series 7, just to catch you up on what we've heard, because the rumors have been really sporadic. We've heard Touch ID could potentially be coming. I actually reported that story like a year ago, but nobody cooperated it, so let's just say that Touch ID probably isn't coming, but if it does come, it'd be in the digital crown or the screen. I just don't know if it's coming. Guo Minchi has said there would be a new design, but with no description of what's actually changing. And we heard about new health features, rumblings of something like, you just shut the horn off. How are we back 
horning it up out there. All right? How, how did they even get that loud? But you're like, did this guy just like on ambulance drivers that are literally saving lives? I did. <laughs> And that's the kind of contact you can expect here. But by far the biggest thing that would happen this year, if it happens at all, is non-invasive glucose monitoring. I mean, there've been some rumblings about this, but considering that would be like a literal medical breakthrough, not like the, the Breathe app or something on here or something for like mental health, where it's like, oh, it could be cool. People have to prick their fingers to, to measure their blood glucose level, levels, their, their blood sugar, especially if you're somebody that is a diabetic. And if that was just baked into the Apple Watch and was like FDA cleared and reliable, that would, like, that would be, uh, the biggest thing that's ever happened for the Apple Watch by like 100%. Today though, we have some fresh information about the design of the Apple Watch Series 7 courtesy of Front Page Tech and a little tidbit that I actually shared myself on my podcast, Genius Bar. So first up, yes, I have seen an image of a green Apple Watch. I am not making this up. It was not the lighting. I would not believe it unless I saw it, but it is the exact same shade as green on AirPods Max or green on the front of the new iMac or green on the iPad Air. I mean, there is a very clear pattern that Apple is following here. They're like, well, hey, what if we just make all these products in all the exact same colors and you can literally buy everything in the same color? It's a strategy we've never seen them do in recent history, but I, I think it could actually work. I mean, I'm not like the biggest guy who I need everything to match, but I know maybe some of you are. Are, are you like everything being the same aesthetic? And that is a product that Apple will be selling. Obviously, we're not that close to the launch of the Apple Watch. We're still a couple months away. So like it could potentially change or be canned, but Apple's painted every other piece of aluminum green. I don't think there'd be like a production issue with the Apple Watch casing. And speaking of that casing, we have some fresh images from John Prosser and my boy Renders by Ian that depict the all new design. This I think is the last product that needed to be updated with Apple's new design language. And this is something that I call like three years ago when it first happened on the iPad Pro. I love the more squared off, less rounded edges, less chamfered bezels. And I said, well, if this looks so good on the iPad Pro, what if we see it on the iPhone? We saw it now on the iMac. We've seen it on the iPhone 12. We obviously have it on the iPad Pro and the Apple Watch is next. I love the way this looks, by the way. Like I was worried about it being too squared or like a 90 degree angle. It would just, you know, it would look ugly. Like at the end of the day, this is a piece of jewelry that is also cool coincidentally tech that you wear on your body. Like the rounded looks nice, but alongside all of Apple's other products, it looks a bit too soft. Like I, I've also just kind of gotten bored of the original Apple Watch design. Of course, I wanna hear your thoughts about this down below as always, but I do think that this is the perfect middle ground between not being too soft and not being too harsh. It looks nice. And of course, Ian's render work is next level. All of these renders are based off of the images that John has seen and, and I've seen as well. And I can tell you they are spot on. This is what the design of the Apple Watch Series 7 looks like. And of course, Guo Min Shi has also said there's gonna be a new design. It's not like John is just pulling this out of nowhere even though he's done this for like a million products at this point. We have lots of credible evidence that this is happening and it, it just makes sense. Like we haven't seen a redesigned Apple Watch since the Series 4 with the like 15, 20% larger screen and slimmer bezels. This is the next evolution. Like this year is an Apple Watch redesign, which I forgot about. Like, you know, last year we got the big iPhone redesign. This year we get an Apple Watch redesign, which is pretty sweet. And apparently I just didn't film an outro of it uh, past Sam. I don't know what he was doing, but he just ended the video there. He was just like, all right, I'm done. We don't have to say drop a like or hit subscribe. Or thanks for watching. Or... Anyway, this is that. This is the outro of it. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, love you. Okay, this is weird. I'm just going to say bye. Peace. <laughs>